Well, he's also defeated, so that makes him a liar and a loser. Because the truth is, let me tell you, you just said it, I don't know how you fit so many words in into such a small amount of space. He's more than a conqueror because of Christ Jesus. Um, it is the truth because of what Jesus did because of his death, burial and resurrection the enemy is done and dusted once and for all for all time's sake and in that moment he did everything that needed to be done on that cross for everyone and that includes you and me and Taya and everybody else and the enemy um, is defeated but he's still got a few little tricks you know like he wants to try and just knock us off course just enough maybe so he uses his lies and jumps on things and tries to get us, I feel like, sometimes just just enough off course for us to maybe even sometimes just be living safe kind of lives, you know. Some kind of form of secure Christianity, which is a little antithetical. Because we've got all the security we need in what Jesus did, but it cost Jesus everything. And I feel like, you know, God has been doing something so amazing these last couple of months. We've got three nights to go. This is our third last night on this run. And we're coming out again, it turns out. But it just feels so good to be in the Northeast. I like it up here. <laughs> it's just... But, you know, God's been doing something. I'm not making it up. Like, every single night, like, it feels like something's bubbling, like something's breaking. It's got nothing to do with the songs we're singing. It's got nothing to do with what's happening up here. It's got everything to do with what God is doing in and through his church, through the people, through. And Jesus said himself, you know, he said, in this life, you'll face trouble. He goes on and says, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. And the word of God says that everything that can be shaken will be shaken. But his kingdom, the kingdom of God, is an unshakable kingdom. That's the foundation we have. Like, how much more confidence do we need to get on and get with what I believe God is wanting to do here and now? You know, because sometimes I feel like we can get so caught up living in a one day, someday kind of faith. I know for me, when I was younger, it was easy for me to kind of believe in the God of the Bible because it was way back when. I had faith for all of that stuff. And if I was honest, you know, it's easy to have sometimes faith for the future. Just like, hey, God's going to do it all. He's going to, Jesus is going to return. He's going to restore everything in and through and to himself. And his kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Like, i got faith for that. That great and glorious day. But faith, and sometimes I just like the word trust better. Trust, that's for the moment. That's for here and now. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes when you're staring at the future. God's not looking for us to kind of tick all the appropriate boxes in order to be used by Him, to get everything right, to have it all figured out, to know enough about God or about the Bible, to have sorted out every miniature detail of our lives, or to figure it out one day when we finish school or we don't sin like we do now or whatever it might be. God's just looking for people who put their hand up now and say, hey, I ain't got it all together. I haven't got it all figured out. But God, if you are who you say you are and you're doing what you say you're doing, I'm in. And I pray that we'd be a people like that. I'll tell you the truth. I mean, I can speak for everybody up here. I just know that's been our journey. And if you told me like 18 months ago, like that we'd be standing here in this moment on this night, like I couldn't see it. Like for all the faith in the world, like I, I just couldn't see it. I lost perspective and I lost my confidence. I felt like the enemy jumped in my ear and just told me like, maybe like, oh, you know, like the best days are behind us and maybe it's time to give this thing up and maybe it's time to like, you know, and I, I don't know, there's probably people here and you find yourself in a place now where it's just, it's hard to see anything beautiful about the future. Where it's really hard to see an other side to whatever it is you're going through. You know, like we were just singing, you're caught in this space between, you're trying to figure it out. Like, you know, it just feels like there's 
there's no end or there's no other side or there's no summer. It just feels like winter's going forever. But I promise you something. There is always another side. And God is always with you. And sometimes it might not make any sense in the moment. It might feel like you're a million miles away from where you thought you'd be or where you should be. Or it might feel like, you know, God's a million miles away. But I know this. This is the beautiful thing about the journey of trust. Is when you find that other side and you get there just by picking yourself up one day at a time, one step at a time, trusting God. But when you get there, you stop and you look around and you look back at this moment, these moments where it felt like everything was falling apart. And you just see that God was moving the whole time, that God was doing things that we couldn't see in that moment. God could see things up ahead, on the road ahead. He was taking us a better way. He had a better plan, a better idea. He was taking these things that just felt so awful and traumatic and impossible to understand. He was turning it into a better story that ultimately brings him glory. And that's the journey. And I just want to encourage you tonight, young person, old person, if you've lost dreams in your heart, if you feel like, you know, you maybe the enemy's been jumping in your ear. But not today. But I promise you, God is faithful. He is always good. He, he was faithful back when. He's faithful now. We'll be faithful to the end. That's all I know to be true. And God knows there's nothing else in this world that's worth hanging on to. So I'm going to plant my feet on that unshakable king. And that's the people of God. That's us. He's called us to be the church. We're messed up. We're broken. We're flawed. We haven't got it all together. But we have a God who is good enough for all of us. And that means he's good enough for you. You don't have to measure up. He measured himself all the way down to pick us up. And I believe that God's doing something awesome. So I stand here tonight, I'm the most grateful. I just cannot explain to you how grateful we are that um, that we get to do this. But more than this, I'm talking about just be a part of this, the church. Amen. And, um,